the latest around the wide world of tropics. Tropical weather bulletin for July 1st. Well, today marks the halfway point of the year so far, day 183 of 2020. 31 storms have formed so far, that's around normal. We do expect the vast majority, about 70% of the storms, to form in the second half of the year. Um, on day 31 of Atlantic hurricane season, we have two areas of interest now, a 20% that we've designated uh, off Atlantic Canada and a 10% off the US East Coast. Both of these could form towards the end of the five day period. Day 48 in the Eastern Pacific, 10% chance for a little area um, off the coast of Mexico towards the end of that period again. The remnants of 4E, which was so quick to die off that we didn't even get to cover it properly on, on the Tropical Weather Bulletin. Nothing going on in the Western Pacific right now. No systems active at all. And same situation for the Indian Ocean, where there were no systems active, although we were tracking some uh, earlier on a few days ago. But they've, uh, in the end, have come to nothing. In the Atlantic Ocean, looking at the satellite imagery, you can see that um, the Saharan dust still dominates a large part of the ocean, although not quite as much as it did last week. Um, a weak disturbance there in the central part of the Atlantic, and that 10% chance that we've got there is for the later part of the forecast period, so you can't see anything there right now, but eventually we do expect something to come off the coast of the United States. This is what the Gulf of Mexico looks like, very quiet and tranquil there. The East Pacific, the remnants of 4E, a ghostly shell of a tropical cyclone, which peaked as a tropical depression earlier today, hence no name. 10% chance for an area further east, which is just about getting, its, uh, getting itself known on the map at least. And another system behind that could develop beyond the five day period. The West Pacific looking very quiet still at this point, a lot of uh, toing and froing around the tropics there with a few thunderstorms blowing up quite a bit through the uh, Mariana Islands and uh, more thunderstorms over the uh, South China Sea and the odd rumbles over the southern Philippine Islands. But generally a very quiet picture. The South Pacific looks also rather quiet, a few thunderstorms just around the Papua New Guinea, Solomon Islands region and out at sea as well and in the Indian Ocean again rather quiet situation but you can see all of those monsoonal showers mainly off the coast of India at least in the latest frames um, rather than what we saw yesterday where we had some quite um, potent uh, developments over land. Sea surface temperatures warming up still uh, the East Pacific a few pockets of 30 degree waters although the La Nina is still well in effect there the uh, Gulf of California though very warm the western coast of Florida really flaring up in those latest day or two uh, up above 30 degrees Celsius across much of the coast there now the Indian Ocean um, 30 degree isotherm also expanding in the Bay of Bengal in the western Pacific a little bit unsettled there but generally still very warm and on the eastern side of the Philippines still 30 degrees generally with a little cool gap towards the southeast Sea surface temperature anomalies, there they are again, warmer than average across most of the western Pacific, much cooler in the east, and that's probably the main feature. The Atlantic um, is half and half as well, although more towards the warm side of things there. And on July 1st, 2010, 10 years ago now, would you believe, it was Hurricane Alex that made landfall on the coast of Mexico. We gave it category 3 at landfall, although the official line is still 100 miles, 100, 110 miles per hour I should say and I still can't fathom why that's the case when you look at that visible image and the infrared also speaks volumes. Alex was um, a very destructive system in the northern part of Mexico as some of our uh, members will indeed recall. Nothing else was active that day though, Celia had just died off in the eastern Pacific. The next name in the Atlantic is Edward, followed by Fay in the Eastern Pacific. We're looking out for Christina, that would be followed by Douglas. The Central Pacific's next name is Hone, and Iona if we get another one in the Central Pacific region this year. The Western Pacific, next up on list three, Sinlaku and Hagapit. Uh, the track of Nuri comes out on Saturday, by the way. Um, Friday night, that is. Saturday morning, depending where you are. Same too for Tropical Storm Dolly and Gatti is next up in the North Indian Ocean. 
in Australia, Imogen is next on the list, and we haven't changed the names yet for the Southwest Indian Ocean, but the names have now rolled over to the new naming list, which will be in effect uh, for the upcoming season. Check out our new look cyclone tracker on the Force 13 website for the latest up-to-date information. You can also find us, of course, on our YouTube channel, search Force 13, and also on Facebook and Twitter, Force 13 at Force 13 on Twitter for the latest updates. You can also help the project become even better by becoming an Ultimate Fan on YouTube. To see the full list of Ultimate Fan benefits and to join, visit youtube.com forward slash force 13 slash join. With a special thanks to our top supporters this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colours wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.